Hello and welcome. It is Saturday the 20th of January. I'm going to be doing an energy oracle card reading for you today and it's quite an exciting day because we're entering Aquarius season. Now I know that because I've got my beautiful moon calendar that uh, was a present from Tanaz at Forever Conscious so thank you Tanaz for that. Um, Pluto also enters Aquarius so we've got some really big shifting energy. Um, I keep, uh, whenever it's Aquarius season, I want to sing that song. You know the one. It's going through your head as well, isn't it? <laughs> but I really feel that we are shifting in this world. I feel like the old worries are crumbling a little bit. Sometimes I watch the news and I feel like it's the fall of the Roman Empire <laughs> in modern day, modern day uh, version of anyway. So let us see. I'm going to pick a couple of energy cards. So... One is going to be the theme that this month brings us while the sun is in Aquarius. The second card I'm going to pick with a, with a thought to Pluto and what it means when Pluto shifts. Obviously, it does go back into Capricorn a bit later in the year, but then when it moves again, it stays for like 20 years. So this is a real generational change. That's why I think it's so important to all of us. So let's see what we get first for our Aquarius season. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Obviously, we have Valentine's Day in Aquarius season in a few weeks' time. Caring connections. What a lovely, what a lovely um, message for us all. Um, this lady's being given flowers. We're assuming he's giving her the flowers, but that might not be the case. It might be she's just picked the, her own flowers and has somebody to share them with. Who knows? Um, we've got the number 14 there. And I, as I'm thinking of that number, I'm being reminded of the temperance card, okay, which is 14 in our regular tarot, Major Arcana. And that is when we have a shift and a change and a transformation and we just have that little bit of time to get used to it. Now, if you saw yesterday's cards, you will know that we had um, spirit animal oracle card of the butterfly. And there was this idea that the transformation has taken place. So I feel this is a really positive step in the right direction for that, as in... There's a part of us that's starting to acknowledge the caring connections in our life and perhaps the not so caring connections in our life and making a conscious choice to spend time with, with the relationships or, or invest in time with the relationships that are actually good for us. It's surprising how often we don't do that when a particular person isn't being how we want them to be. Inadvertently, we, we maybe try and change them. Or maybe they try and change us. There's lots of hidden depths sometimes in relationships. But I feel with this card, it's just the idea. This lady is engrossed in what she's doing. She's looking at those flowers. That guy's just cuddling her, isn't he? He's just watching what she's doing. I do feel there's... Um, I feel like there's a message there that there's some people that will just be happy to watch you succeed and watch you enjoy being you. And... Yeah, that's that's a really lovely, lovely message. I feel like I'm missing something, though, in that. And I feel like there's something else I need to say. But what I'm going to do is pick this second card. And obviously, this is the bigger picture, I feel, because the Pluto energy is going to be such a long shift when it does eventually end up in Aquarius for its 20-year cycle. So let's see what, what comes with that. Ah, OK, wonderful. <laughs> uh, so here he is, Archangel Raphael, and it's the fourth chakra, which is our heart, following our heart. Amazing. We're talking about transformations. Transformations begin in the heart chakra because, you know, we have got that, what, what we feel, isn't it? When we Either when we are broken by something, be it a, you know, a very upsetting emotion like grief, loss, um, unrequited love, whatever it is, we we change and we adapt and we, we kind of, as we move on, we grow and we learn. And I feel, yes, the heart chakra for a very um, for a base explanation of it is about love. And we've got this love element here. I keep going to Valentine's Day, <laughs> which is in Aquarius season, obviously. But I feel that this is the bigger change, the change within us that helps us 
make better choices in our lives. And that's lovely. I feel like this is just a huge amount of support. I feel, I almost feel actually, oh, okay, right. I almost feel like this person is the angel putting their arms around this lady as she works out what's going on in her mind and what's going on in her heart. And sometimes we do have people in our lives that are our angel, that person that's just looking out for us, but not in a controlling way. They're just helping us get to the right conclusions that work for us. And that is really lovely. Um, you know, and people do that in a number of different ways, don't they? They can be a lifestyle coach. They can be um, a counsellor. They can be a mentor of some type, maybe even a sponsor. You know, maybe you are struggling with some sort of addiction or you know that you've, you've got something going on that's not really helping you and you've asked for help in that response and somebody that's been through it is helping you. And that could be, you know, on a, I don't know, like an app. If you've got something going on, you've joined, you've joined something via an app and you've got support there. I really feel this is supporting, caring connections, but moving you into a, a group of people that are going to be there helping you through the next step of your life, whatever it is. Um, and I do feel that this is about understanding something's got to change within you. OK, so whatever that is, it might be you're aware you're using too much of your energy up with other people or it might be that you know that you're in a job that's making you really unhappy or you might have to realise that your children are grown up and you can't you know mother them anymore you've got to step back and let them make their own decisions and consequently you've got a big void <laughs> in your own life that needs to be filled there's so many different ways when sometimes we realise that life has come in and changed and we also need to adapt but I really do feel like the Archangel Raphael here is giving us so much support and so much loving energy. OK, so we're getting loving energy from above and loving energy in our little human worlds as well. I hope that helped. Sounds like a lovely Aquarius season, doesn't it? And as I said, that second card I picked to kind of get what this Pluto moving into Aquarius was all about. And there is that real higher consciousness level of change. So maybe on a collective level over the next couple of decades, we are going to see some massive shifts in energy around our world. And let's all hope and pray that it is a nice positive change that helps the world heal in some way. Okay, that was very deep, wasn't it? Right, I'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you. So please, please do join me then. Okay, have a lovely day. Bye for now.